Where's Max? I don't like, oh, stop. Like, oh, <laughs> there it is. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I accidentally just started a webinar. Okay, my name is Michelle, and I will be the moderator today for the Hukulo Saturday webinar. Um, I think Jim has an announcement he'd like to make. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Oh, actually, I should read everybody who's in the room. We have Christine, Max, James, Liney, Marlene, Octavian, Amran, Salish, Sheer, and Stephanie. And who do you guys have? Right now, we have Angela, Barbara, Will, and Ray. So, good morning, good morning, everybody. morning everybody. There is a couple of announcements, and you probably know them already. The uh, Sedona retreat or um, workshop is in um, February 1st to 6th, and we would welcome as many people as would want to sign up right now. I know we can only hold 24. However, right now we're, I think, at eight or nine. So we could use some more uh, of your support. I know that sometimes it's hard to make plans that far ahead if you don't know what money situations are going to be, et cetera. So we understand that. But uh, it will be easier for to get a plane tickets. They'll be a little cheaper if the farther ahead you buy them. So. Um, we welcome you. We know that it's going to be very wonderful. The last one is I'm still getting feedback from, and there's still a lot of things going on. Uh, a lot of information is still co going on from the last workshop, so it's very cool. So, also, I'm going to be teaching, or I should say, Tukur is going to be teaching a Galactic Reiki class on November. 25th and 26th it'll be three hours for two days we'd like to get as many in there as possible because it's a very cheap price point at $100 a person and the more I put it at a low price point so we could get quite a few people into the class to make it worthwhile for me to do it so but I think that we have about three right now I'm not sure but uh, if you would like to learn the Gal Galactic Reiki, it can be, we extended it to three hours for two days because I'm sure with more people, there'll be more questions and uh, there'll be more instruction because some there will be a lot more questions. The more people, the more questions. And also the more people, uh, the longer it takes for the attunements. So anyhow, have Can a wonderful day and if there is anyone out there that would like to say a blessing I know we have one in the room here Barbara anyone out there uh, would like to say a blessing please let uh, Michelle know so that she can put you in there I would like to do a blessing. and mm -hmm. will would like to do a blessing also can you so we have two blessing? here anybody out there I was just going to ask if you could give the dates again for the Galactic Reiki. The November 25th and 26th. I'm and not sure what time frame he put on that. Uh, three, to six, three to six, I think, Eastern Standard Time it will be at that time, because we will move into Eastern Standard Time at that time. Next week. Uh, next week. So it will be 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. Thank you. November 25th and 26th. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you are you ready? Mm -hmm. Very good. Barbara's going to do the first blessing. Um have a wonderful session everybody. Peoples, please prepare yourself for a message of great interest and importance. Find that you bring out the peace and love in your heart and find community in the places where you live. 
This is a time of change and a time of great challenge. Stand up and be part of it. Will? Kia ta awa ha ta ani a cha cha uka ta ta hi na awa cha cha hua hi ta na na i cha u ta kawa ta arashi hi a ta i ka na awa ha sha shi a au koho ta chi shi i a wa na de ya ta i a ka ha sa na ya ko ko ta ta a ya ta a ta a na na ha ta hi shi ta ko ra sha sha ko ya a na na hi a ta ka ya. Welcome the Great Spirit and all that he sends to listen today, for he is teaching his people. We are learning his lessons, and you are also. But together we will find unity in the outer areas of space someday. But for now, we are uniting in spirit. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That was interesting. Exactly. Okay. Um anybody else? I guess we should see who comes. Um requests. Uh I took some requests. Uh, not online. Oh, not online though. Uh, repeat some of your requests so that we can um, get them back here because there is a quite a few people here but I want to make sure that some of these requests are heard Ra, what was the name Ra Tier T T Ra Tier Tear Ear Ra Tear Ear Ra Tear pardon me Kill Rock your air. air. All right. I did not pronounce it correctly, but Benjamin. Rock to air. Tear air. And Hildegard of Benjamin. Vote. And Hildegard, Al you know who you are. So, and Alma Talk. Alma Talk. Elijah's mm -hmm. not coming today, so. Um, he hasn't been here a couple of weeks, which is surprising, but he will return. We have Sanat Kamara. Uh, and Keck. Yes, and Sanat. someone also said Grindel. And Grindel, you said Grindel. Yeah. Kenji. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah, Kenji. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. It's Kenji. Wendy. Hi, Wendy. How are you? I'm good. I haven't seen you in so long. It's so good to be here. Um, I would. I was wondering one if I could do a short blessing, and two, um, I was wondering if maybe we could maybe talk to Shell. Shell, okay, of the Chicani. Yeah, from the Chicani. Yes, yes, and I would welcome a blessing from you. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you all. Yes, Atoshe. Timi i anashe tuya mai lea diakunia sate. Hakutia sunoshe rumaya wa. Leni ikia sato samura halate. Seni awa olomaya wa keru se. Shonu kuapala. Ake tutia malisa. Nokoti kiasha. Ah, leila lianokura. Shake ya tala. Namaki. Ashe atani. Namaste. Find the love within you and extinguish all your doubts and fears. Some of you are not aware of how to rise up and are confused about what you are to do and what your missions are. But once you find your true self and become who you truly are supposed to be, then you will know that there is something there for you. And as you follow your heart and your love and extinguish those things, which do not belong truly to you, you will find direction and find placement in a greater area and a greater understanding 
of your mission. Thank you, Jim. Well, that was beautiful. Amran would also request Shiva. Shiva, of course. Okay, I will see who's coming. I'm going to do a little bit of a um, meditation now. And there is a lot of people vying for the, uh, the attention today. So don't know who's coming first. But, um, and did you need to say something? No. Oh, okay. There's a lot of people trying to, to get in today. So I don't know who's going to be here or, or whatever. So I will do a meditation and we'll see who comes first. Much love, and actually, I say some very positive prayers that the person with the greatest message will get through first, and et cetera, so that uh, we have a really, really great understanding between all of us. So, Um, one moment, please. To be able to speak to you is difficult, but I will try. I am not used to speaking to people. I'm used to listening to people. I am used to doing everything under supervision. So you will understand if I feel a bit out of my element. Please you forgive me. Your name? Pardon me. Would you please share your name with us? Hildegard. Hildegard. He has, so pronouncing, he has trouble pronouncing some things through my very um, obvious um, accent. It's perfect. But I come That's because fine. it is important for you to understand where I am in thought process of the that time in my life. You see, it wasn't as bad as it might sound because I was in submission to God. God was who I submitted to. And if there happened to be others around, it was of no cause. heart belong to God and I look through all the things that were happening and he was able to get messages through in the way of music, in the way of understanding, in the way of the word of God. Now, yes, there were those that had to be in my presence almost constantly, except when I was in my room. I did have privacy when I was alone, but not much else. I was either taking care of the ladies, the nuns, as you call them. I personally call them the ladies of God because that's what they were. They held up their faith 
in a special feminine way and brought peace to their surroundings and brought understanding one to another. Of course, also this mean these men that were there, they were in submission to as well, not only myself as their leader, but as the the women, the nuns of the convent, they had to submit themselves to some embarrassing moments, having men around, because we did not have all the things that you have in your toiletries today, so you can understand where there might have been some embarrassing moments for them, because men were saying no you cannot leave at this time no you cannot do that at this time no you cannot go here and so they had to listen and submit as well as i did but let me tell you something else faith grew through the musical aspects the sound of the music brought a greater presence of God to the ladies and to myself. And as I was writing, sometimes men do not like to be seen as lesser. So there were times when they forbade me to write at that moment because they were not in the mood to stand over and watch for that kind of thing. But God, when I was able to write, let the music pour out on the paper, let it come as quickly as possible so that His will be done. Not my will. His will. Not my will. Let me express that. Not my will. He was a great understander of my heart. He knew I must do more than just talk to the ladies and be in prayer. That there was more for me to give to the world. And he is the one that gave the gift. He is the one that gave the gift, and so therefore I must use. And when I use, I praise God with the gift. I give God glory with the gift, and even thank him for the supervision. For this is his will at this time. And it shows me that even though there are many around, or someone watching, I may have freedom in God. It is not limited to the room. It is not limited to a place. For your heart expands to include all things. And God reach in to that place and make it an auditorium. <laughs> I could hear my music as I wrote it down. They could not hear it as I write it down because that is not the way I worked. You could not hear what I was doing. You could see what I was doing. But I could hear it in here, in here. Ah, and that was the beauty of it. That it was not just limited 
to the page not limited to the page but I could hear it I could experience it and know that it was from God oh yes there was times of discomfort where I did not and was not happy with some things of course humanity can be cruel humanity can be hurtful and that is putting it mildly i was i was very much insulted for my efforts and they said many said oh this is nothing but just drivel this is nothing but just notes on a piece of paper it could not be anything valuable you are wasting your time i do not know why they let you do this i do not know why they are permitting us to stand here and be bored while you do this and occasionally they would leave and i would have to stop before I was finished, they would say, I am too bored. I'm going somewhere else. Stop. And I would have to stop. And God was still flowing through my brain. And I said, Dear Lord, help me to remember all these things that you are bringing to me right now because he says I must stop and I must obey and then there were the times I'm sitting at mealtime and the music would play through the brain over and over again after the prayer for Thanksgiving for whatever it was that we had to eat in those times which was meager the music would play and i would it would be like eating a feast because it would just make me feel that he was there to express something greater to me than just feeding the body but I was feeding the spirit with the music and I would be smiling and happy and not everyone around would understand that they probably thought she is going through madness because these are not good foods But I would enjoy them with the sound of God's music all around me in my heart and mind. And that is one of the ways that I survived. With joy. There was joy. Yes. And I thank God for that. I thank God for that. Is there any questions? I just had to express it was a very, very hard time, yes. but yet the joy of God can be even in those times of repression and imprisonment, basically. Right. Does anyone have a question for me? Yes, Christine, who is very eager to speak with you, has a question. Christine. <laughs> Hilde Hildegard, once you have passed over or crossed over, were you um, in contact with the um, spiritual beings? The, um, oh, I forgot what they're called. But um, did you come back? 
in this life on earth as a more musical person able to express yourself or his own? I did, yes. I have been in other places and back to this place one, one other time. But, and I did express myself musically at that time. And I was not in a female form, but God gave me a male uh, persona so that I may bring forth some music. And I went through many different phases with that, but I was honored by God that I could do that. Have you heard of the Hathors? Yes. Do you have a connection the to them? Are not from this species. They are a very musical tonings. Their, their great healing comes from toning, but they do have music as well that is majestic and deep and musical, and a very, very awesome sounding. And they prepare it and they uh, release it in a greater and more <laughs> unusual way than you might imagine. Are you, um, when, you, when, you when you came back as a male, um, who, who do we know of the person, who, that musical person? Oh, yes, but I would not want to brag or draw attention to that persona because it was me. And the beauty of it was that I would like to remain humble. And you will find that there are many religious and beautiful songs that were brought through by this composer that I was, yes. And he is known today. So are you. Yes. Um, out of um, curiosity, um, do you inspire anyone um, today in on um there are those that I inspire, but I, I do not wish to say that I inspire, but God's inspiration is within my music, and God, through the music, inspires. <laughs> do you have anything to tell us or any message to give us today about you know, concerning the music and the vibes and the vibrations. Yes, the the music that was written at that time, no one had heard. It was not being heard. There was a time when some of it was played, yes. <laughs> but our ladies did not really get to hear a lot of it. They did hear some of it. Now, I do not know how it is reported that they listened to it, or if it was reported, that they even listened to any of it. I do not know what the history books say. But if you know who I am, then there must be something written. Therefore, I will tell you this. Not much of it was played, and when it was played, they did not play it with the feeling or the intent that was behind it but i will tell you this <laughs> when i played it it was much different they allowed me to play some of it at times but not often in today's music the cds and everything that we have of um what is supposed to be your music it is that played better today oh yes there is much of much of that is mine yes some of it is slightly rewritten in places where they felt that there were errors and so they have rewritten little portions of it but they made it in a way that god would enjoy and god would accept 
Thank you, Hildegard. Thank you for coming through for me. You are welcome. I came through for all because you many will find that this is an era where they feel imprisoned. Yeah. Where they feel like they cannot get out of where they are. The energies and the powers that be are very strong around you and you feel that you are in a prison. Make the best of it and be yourself and bring God into that because many of you will find that you are going to break free of it eventually. It will not be as it was. This is a different day and a different age. A different understanding, if you will, of all the things that are happening. In my age, there was much repression, slavery. Women were not valued as they should be. And they are just now coming into their value in many places. And there are still places on your planet where they are not valued. They will rise up. It will become a different world eventually. But only because you listen to your heart and to God's heart as he is speaking to you and telling you how to move forward. And many of you know that you feel this calling of God on you, but you know not how to deal with it. Just let it come in and cleanse you. Call it a cleansing. Call it a reawakening of life within the body. And let yourself grow with this light and love you will find that as you push energy out instead of bring it in things will change you will start to become the atmosphere and not become the atmosphere that someone else gives you but become your own energy that gives life to others, gives example. It is a difficult concept, but it, it does exist. It does exist. Hildegard, thank you so much for your coming. Um, it was my I'm pleasure. I'm so excited to listen to your music. <laughs> you, yes, now, Christine has made us aware of your of you it, so it is not the same as all other musics but god is there bring him into it as you listen to it Definitely but he not. is al already there but picture him within it that is my greatest accomplishment is to bring his face into thank the sound thank you thank you I will go for now. Okay, thank you. Much love. And someone else is here. Uh, I will represent 
the Blue Avians. Greetings. 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 And I will represent them th through this one here. I have already spoken through another. So you know who I am. <laughs> Would you please tell us your name? Rautier. Rautier, welcome. Do you have a message prior to yes. speaking with Sheer? Okay, thank you. I listened to the previous female entity in spirit. And I understand where she was coming from. We are ones that give freedom and not suppression. However, many would say you control who comes in and out of the solar system, and so therefore you suppress some, but we do not. There are those that come in for a time, a special time, and they leave on their given return time. And there are those that are not on any schedule that we let in. And when they are finished with what they are to do, they leave. And we let them go. There are several different species that <coughs> stay in the solar system for a great deal of time. And there is a purpose for that. And we are one of those species. I am not sure what kind of information that you want me to bring to you today, except that we do know that there are many things happening on the planet and that we are seeing many things happening in the solar system. We do not just regulate the Earth, but also the solar system. Now, we do not interfere with any of the activities there, not like your other alliances. We may speak to some people, but we do not interact socially very much and do not cause or create any help on the surface or in the atmosphere. We are totally autonomous. When it comes to our activities, we were given this job and we do it with the greatest of respect for all life forms. And if they do not respect us, then they must leave. Respect is necessary and disrespect is not tolerated. Is there any questions? There are yeah. questions. Uh, Sheer, do you want to go? Yes, greetings. Yes, greetings. How, are How are you? I am fine. Uh, it's a pleasure to see you. I was following Corey Good's show, and he speaks about you a lot, and the interaction that he had with you. I was wondering, um, how accurate was it? Because he uh, mentioned a couple of scenarios that you came to visit him one time. You were in hologram in the middle of his house and things of that nature. Is it even legal for someone to go to someone else holographically on Earth? Holographic imagery is permitted when you have permission for it. We, as the Blue Avians, have permission from your secret space agency because they are the monitors of such things. So therefore, we do have that permission. 
Yes. It is limited. We are not uh, allowed to be third dimensional, nor would we really want to be. But holographic is acceptable for certain specific reasons of dire communication or important information. All information given to the one called Corey is given to the secret science organization. And do you keep on seeing him in that matter? Not always. I do not necessarily need to see him in that matter all the time. I see. And can someone, let's say, submit a request to meet someone in a holographic, if they are allowed and if he's allowed? Meet someone in what? In a holographic. If they are given permission, and how it does is one submit? Possible for that to happen, but we are in a different situation since we are controlling space travel within the solar system. Therefore, we do need some special abilities and some special uh, things to help your society. And that, that is why we are granted these things. I see. Is Corey Good the only one that you visit personally here on, on Earth? Or is it other people as well? I cannot give you that information because okay. the other people that I visit are in the secret space organization. I see. So have to, you have to become one of the... a member of the organization. I am not a member, but I speak to the members. I see. And only the members of the secret space program. And there is another organization that we speak to, of course, and the organizations that are in your solar system, the alliances. We can and do have regular communication with many of these alliances and species okay well you mentioned two organizations are they allies to one another or foe to one another they are allies in the sense that they are not against one another but share some common positive traits i see and it's the secret space program that decides about first contact and things of that nature so it seems they are partially responsible for that information. But the governments have a great deal to do with that because they will not allow first contact in their own thought processes because of what it will mean to them personally as governments of their countries. Now, remember this. The secret space organization does have some power, but not as much as the governments. I see. Uh, thank you very much. And I also want to thank you for what the Blue Avian helped uh, me, if you will understand what it means. Thank you. We know that you do not understand all the things that are happening, but there is so many things happening on your planet, it is hard to keep track of the information coming from it. But yet that is one of our jobs, is to monitor information so that we may know when the appropriate times for certain activities can be brought about. So therefore, as we are monitoring, we are also making actions with the different species that are out here and moving them in and out of the solar system as it is appropriate.
you would not understand, but some things about who should be here are determined by political and social activities. We may call on some species to help us analyze certain behaviors or certain events. I see. And if one of those species will step forward and could be of assistance because of their technology or understanding, is that mean that they could have similar benefits like meeting certain people in a holographic way as long as they submit um, a permission from the... The governments will want to speak to one particular species or another due to their understanding of information that they hold that is perhaps beneficial to their society or to themselves personally. These audiences are rare, but they do happen, and sometimes they are even granted third dimensional access to the planet. This is very rare. However, it has happened a few times within the last couple of your Earth years that you yell and even other species, reptilian, have been given audience to certain government leaders. I see. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Um, I have a question from Amron. He would yes. like to know what the role of the blue avians will be in the future Earth. I don't in know which future, future Earth, but... <laughs> we will not have a real mission in the future because our mission is now. We have missions with other places when we are done with this planet and this solar system. But it is all important that we help at this time for we are able to do what is necessary where some other species are not able to do what we can do. Such as? Control the passages for ships in and out of the solar system without revolution or re rebellion. I see. We are higher species. A higher control mechanism is in action. And they know that it cannot be defeated. Okay, I understand. Um, he had another question, and he wants to know if Ra and Horus who he believes is part of your race. Is that accurate? Ra and Horus are part of our species, okay. but he also was... part of other things as well. Such as? I cannot give you that information. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So he would like to know if Ra and Horus are still working with the Earth Project and the Blue Avians. Like they're not a part of they the are connecting with the Earth Project, but not through the blue avian species. I see. Okay. Thank you very much for that. I think are there um, other questions, or do you wish an audience with someone else? Oh, well, let me just put it out there. If you have a question type q really quickly all right i believe that is all thank you so much for coming very well oh i'm sorry i'm sorry actually max has a question about the event but i have no idea what he's talking about tachyon and the solar event well, tachyon and the solar event he, he must like be speaking about what is happening at this time 
your there was a very large CME coronal mass ejection that was I'm not sure how many Earth days ago, but it was a few weeks ago, perhaps, and it was as large as all the planets put together. That area of the sun is now facing Earth, and there's a great disruption going on. Many people are feeling the disruptions that the sun is sending out at this time. Is this what you speak of? Do you want to answer that, Max? Do you have a microphone? But the tachyon yes. portion, I am not understanding because that has to do with time travel. Max, would you like to unmute and ask specifically? I would not want to answer a question that was not asked. Yes, hello. Right here. Yes. I'm Alex. And my questions um, are um, um, about the, the solar event that uh, the Cory Good is speaking of. And uh, I'm asking if you have some other information about that. Uh, There you go. You're on again. Ah, what happened? Someone muted you. Ah, can you hear me now? Yes. What is happening yes. is this. After that coronal mass ejection that was so large, it was not facing the Earth at that time, fortunately. Otherwise, your planet could have been destroyed. But now, that area which was the portion that gave out that great mass ejection is now facing your Earth, and there is much disruption in that area. Many spikes and flares. However, we do not expect another large C and B for a while, so you will survive. But the disruption that is being sent off by the sun or solar surface has affected humanity quite a lot. Many are feeling its effects and are feeling actually down and depressed or beaten or lower these effects are very erratic it is like after the an earthquake you have the aftershocks and after this mass coronal event you have also aftershocks in the sense that the surface area in that place will be disrupted for quite a while and give off spikes and flares. Now, you will pass through this area within probably a week's time or somewhere in that area. And so at this point, you are beyond the most dangerous point where that mass coronal ejection actually occurred but you are still not past the disruptive after effects of it is this what you needed to know yes for the moment thank you you're welcome um it is an important question because it is influencing the earth peoples thank you thank you uh, you, can you talk about the, the process of uh, harvest? I am hard, having a hard time understanding you. Can you talk about the process of the harvest? Please. Did you get that? The harvest moon? No, the harvest process. 
harvest process? Yes. Harvest process. You mean harvesting of food? No. The okay. Harvesting the soul, so something like that. Blue aliens do that. You mean harvesting the people of your planet for use? So. Yes. There is, there, I should say there was, a program long ago that suggested that this could be a possibility that humans would be harvested for their DNA. But it is not permitted by galactic government or by moral decency. However, volunteers are, are being accepted to give their DNA to certain projects so that they may help the galaxy in one way or another. What I mean by this is this. Human DNA is very valuable. It can help many other species heal from physical and emotional deprivation. And so therefore, human DNA is very valuable to the galaxy. Especially at this time, as you are gaining fourth dimensional energies and fourth dimensional vortexes are becoming more prominent and sending out more energies. This helps for your DNA to be more effective when blended with other DNAs and more healing. Now, we are only, I should say, we and others are only taking volunteers, but will not have a harvest in the sense that we will take DNA without permission. That is not acceptable at this time since your peoples have reached an understanding of fourth dimension in some ways. We are going to accept donations and volunteers for giving donations of DNA, but we will not harvest it without permission. Is this what you were talking about? Yes, thank you. Very well. It has wow. become apparent that there are some species that will come and take DNA without permission. And this would be a, an illegal harvest of DNA. They do not destroy the humans. They do not even subject them to any kind of movement, but they will take the DNA from where they are, if they are sleeping or whatever. But it is not permitted without permission at this time to take DNA from humans. Thank you very much. Um, Shir has a real quick question. Yes. Um, I was wondering if, it's, if it is possible for me to meet you astrally, and as long as it's not harmful, I can uh, uh, donate some of my DNA if it's any use. We will see what the galactic government says, for we have to have permission to appear holographically. It is permitted to appear usually for governmental and for serious interactions. We will find if this is allowed. We do know who you are, and it may be considered approvable. And if you ever want to stop by here all graphically, I will give you some hummus and pitot. Ah, food from your planet. I understand. That would be acceptable. We can survive on such things. Thank you very much. 
you are welcome. There is a strange energy moving through the area. Not a negative energy, but something unusual. Is there any more questions? I think we're going to move on to the next. Excellent. Thank you very much for being here. It has been good to speak to you. I believe my work is done here. Thank you so much. Mm. Um. I, hey, I heard Randall, you what's calling up? me, so I have decided to arrive. Yeah. Um. This is Grindle. For those of you who've never met me, yeah, I met all of you. Okay, very good. Uh, hello. <laughs> And why did you call me? Because you're amazing. And right. that's uh, a <laughs> given. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Is there any other reason? We love you. Oh, uh, yeah. Mushy love talk. Okay, good. Mushy yeah. love talk. Uh, that's fine. I'm used to it with your people. It's all ooey gooey, sticky lobby. Yeah. Okay. You've um, gotten pretty good at it your own self, just incidentally. Yeah, yeah. I, I try to fit in. I know. Yeah. So, what is, <laughs> there has to be some questions I can answer for you today. The, I'm sure. Yes. There can are. you tell us something positive Whoa. about what's happening? Oh, 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 oh. We yes, asked, tell us Please something po positive. Interject. What? I'm just asking people to please write Q in the side so that I can call. Ah, well, I heard the question, I think. Tell you something positive about what's happening? Well, the ascension is still continuing, so that's a big duh. It's a good thing, though. It's always very positive. Oh, yeah, thanks for the energy. All right. Yeah. But um, they're holding energy here. It's Here's a really weird energy close by, but it's not bad. It's just very strong and weird. So we don't know what it is. I don't care really. It's not gonna not gonna hurt me or anything. So, but there is. Uh, does anybody out there feel unusual energies today? Um, yeah, there is some unusual and different energies energies that are entering earth atmospheres these days that haven't been around for hundreds of thousands of years and um they are to re re uh activate uh something on the earth i'm not sure what that is but i think it's partial partially dealing with the magic portions and with the the uh, healing portions of the planet. So, uh, right. So there you have it. There was something really positive. Because uh, these energies, they're they're starting to move around. They're not in great abundance at this time, but they are starting to be uh, felt and uh, noticed by many different people. An uh, energy that you've never felt before. Has anybody felt that yet? I I would like to hear from you. Could you be more specific about an energy we never felt before? Is it a delightful energy or is it a heavy well, energy? It's, it's, <laughs> oh yes, it's delightful. Oh no, uh, wrong use of words. But anyway, uh, it's um, it's very strong. It's very different than what you're used to. 
that's all you need to know about it at this moment. It can't be really described as delightful. It can be described as strong. It can be described as energetic. It can be described as unusual. So that that's the best description I can give. Yeah, plus you're it's not, not party good. energy, no. It's not party energy, okay. Yeah, not, um, not delightful or <laughs> exciting, but oh, it is strong. I don't want any of that then. Well, actually, it's, it will make you feel good. Okay. Uh, uh, then I do. But it's not like woohoo good. It's like, oh, good. I see. Very basic good. Do you know what I mean? Get out. It's I a have, basic good. I not absolutely a, do. All right, good. Oh, tell me about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're having a, a healing hangout later today because of this energy to actually bring in the energy. Oh, you are. I didn't yes. know that. All right. Yeah. At 3 p.m. Eastern time. Um, a commercial. A commercial. Right. Didn't, didn't. That's right. Well, Way to go, Will. All right. Yeah. Healers will be awakened and um, bringing in and anchoring this energy. All right. Specifically to activate, to, to anchor it. And Koroshana Oka Hushukaya Tarsia. Yeah. Footage at 11. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, yes, thank you. That's good. I'm glad you're doing that. That's that's actually very cool because it does have something to do with healing energy. So um, I didn't know there was going to be a commercial, but that was cool. Yeah, very cool. Um, so I I do have another question yeah, from yeah. Lenny. Yeah, Lenny wants to know if Jay Z is reptilian. Jay Z, the rap He's singer. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, uh, I don't know if I should out him. Should I? I don't know. Yeah, but I, um, just I have a few. There are some <laughs> reptilians out there, yes, that are in the music business. Yes, wow. Some people are asking questions about some stars and things and their connections to the aliens around that are here and there. But... Uh, he has some connections with reptilians, yes. Mm -hmm. So and I'm not going to um, tell you if he is or not. <laughs> why not? Oh, uh, because Queen Elizabeth I, wouldn't like it. Right. Okay, I gotcha. So Stephanie has a question. All right. She wouldn't want to be associated with him. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Rando. Yeah. You're a hoot. I appreciate you coming. Thank you. Hoot, hopefully, is a good thing. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah it is. Hear your music. Uh, yeah, all right. Go ahead. I'm going to shift gears a little bit here. All right. We have something that we refer to as an oversoul. Yeah, yeah. We have yeah. Who is an oversoul as a higher self, yeah, yeah. as his guides. Do you have something that correlates to a higher self in your culture and Of spirit? course, yes, yes. Okay. I uh -huh. think most species do. Um, some have uh, more than others. Right now, humans, humans usually just had one for the longest time. But now when it comes into this kind of a, uh, ascension period, there are those that have several. Not everyone has several, but there are those that do. The basic guy on the street still has just one because he doesn't even listen to that one. So, um, but those that have a more understanding, then they get a few so that they can work out a better guidance system and a better loyalty system. So, but... Those guys that are just very 3D still only have one and one guardian angel. But you understand that this is a, a greater age and greater time where some people need more. More guidance, more direction, more protection. So that's why they're there. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have an easy connection with them? Like for us, um, generally, there's still a large population that don't even 
really know or have yeah. a concept. Of myself. And yeah, when you when I try to talk to third dimensional humans, higher selves, they're like, "What do you want?" He's not really listening, but he, I tell him what he of oh, the, the the things he needs to know, and if he doesn't need to know it, then I don't bother. So, um, but with those that are fourth dimensional uh, or have more fourth dimensional energy, I get a lot better responses like, uh, yes, we're moving this direction, that direction. We're doing this and that and the other thing. I, we need to connect to these people here. We need to get rid of this uh, particular thing in the system, blah, blah, blah. So yes, uh, I can speak to higher selves and spirit guides. But I don't always get the answers that I'm looking for, but I do usually get a response. Occasionally, there are those that do not respond at all and are their uh, spirit guide, like themselves, are introverted and do not want to speak to the outside world in that way. So you have what it about, what you have. Yep. What about your connection to your higher self? Our, oh okay. yeah, I have a higher self, and it's uh, a very, very good. I'm, I'm very happy with my higher self. He's, a, he's a real jerk. No, <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. He's, he's fantastic, really. Much, much. He helps me with uh, this kind of scenario a lot. He helps me to be more. Uh, human in the sense that i can relate to you and be actually effective with what i say thank you last question past lives have, yes have, you have past lives that you have uh karmic um, um I don't know, in interactions with or issues that are from past lives that you have to resolve in current life, of that's course. sort of how it works. Everyone that, everyone that lives in the universe will have past lives that they have to resolve something from, and that can happen in many different ways. You can finally resolve past life differences by going back to that life and looking at it and doing that kind of thing. You can resolve past life differences by um, forgiving it, even though you don't know what it is. Sometimes that works if it's not too serious. Uh, you can resolve past life incidences by doing something really wonderful in your life to or for someone that is similar to what the opposite of what had been done in the past life that caused the problem. So therefore, there it, there's even more than that, but I, I think that's enough to let you know that there are ways to resolve them, and that they do exist. Yes. Yeah, you said you could go back and look at them. Is that technology that you use? That well, you it's past life regression. We have that on our planet as well. There are those that do past life regressions, just like people on your planet do past life regressions. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's You're great. welcome there. Mm. Hey, Grindel. Um, my friend Tina has a question, and she was like, she's a huge fan of yours. Yeah. And she wants to know if the, you have a message for, you know, you, like, for of her? your kind, for her, of yes. our kind, she said. <laughs> she's president of my fan club, so I have to talk to her. No, I'm just teasing. Uh, <laughs> Uh, actually, there is something, and she is, um, there is, there's something going on right now that she is very concerned about. Hold on. Is that right, that you're really concerned about? The, this will be resolved pretty soon. That's what I'm getting. I'm not sure if it's you or somebody close to you. But there's something that's very uh, that needs resolved that's going to get resolved pretty soon. But the thing is about you, I love who you are. You are a very wonderful person, and 
you know, that sounds very generic, but I can't say that about everybody. So, um, so take it for what it is. And I'm glad that you are moving forward. But right now, if there, if I were to give you a message, I'd have to speak to you personally because it's actually fairly personal. So I wouldn't want to do that over all these people. But there's something in your area with somebody close to you or with yourself that needs to be resolved very quickly, and it will be. So that's what I'm getting from your area. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, You're welcome. Brooke is next. Brooke, oh, hey. Hey, Grindel. Hey. How, How are you? Doing? you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm wonderful. Awesome. I've missed you. I like you a lot. I like you too. You're <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so I wanted to ask um, about my higher self because talking to slash hearing her is impossible and also she seems to not want to talk to me or anyone else and she's kind of being a butthole and I don't know how to fix that. Yeah, oh, interesting. She doesn't want to talk to you? Or um, are, are any of your spirit guides talking to you? I can't ever hear them uh, and that's a huge issue. Oh, more than one, by the way. Oh, I know. There's like five or six. There's five all together. Okay. One higher self, four spirit guides, and then you have your angel, you know, your guardian angel. Your higher self is, let me, uh, let me go there for a second and see what's going on. Okay. And, yeah, oh, one second. All right. All right. She says, all right. She said, I, I've sort of given up on you a little bit because you don't listen to what I say. But you, I said to her, that's not the right attitude. But she said, you are very independent and you do what you want to do. And sometimes you're, you go into places where you shouldn't go, and so she gets upset with you. Um, now, don't worry about that right now, because she's going to come around. I talked to her for a minute, and I will be talking to her again. We, I set up a little meeting with her. She will start talking to you again. Yeah. Thank you. You understand, though, she's... Just like you, very strong will. Yeah. Um, and if you don't listen to her, then she gets pissed off easy. Yeah. So, so I have to go and talk her, talk her down a little. Okay. I don't know exactly what I've been, to, but I've never really heard her very strongly. So that's probably. What I know, doing. I know. But uh, we'll work on that, and you'll be able to hear her better. Yay. Thank you. I think that she really thinks you can hear her, could hear her, because of the, what she said, it, she made it seem like you did hear her, but you just did something else. So I don't know if that's true or not. So well, I, um, I've never we'll, actually. We'll, I will talk to you. I, I will talk. Okay. Well, I, I'm to talk in like a British voice or something in my head, because I have no idea if it's her or my thoughts. Yeah, she's she does have that little bit of a, but a little bit of that British thing going on. Uh, some of them choose that because it makes them sound more intellectual. I think. Well, I don't like it because it sounds fruity to me. But um, I I think it's all right. You know, if you wanted to take all this accent, you know, yeah. But um, it's not for me. No. Noted. Eh, I'd rather sound like uh, Wino. I think they get more respect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, then. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. 
uh, Pete is next. Pete, and then yeah. we're going to wrap it up. We'll have oh, another, we'll wrap it up. Which is a Hello, bummer. Oh, Grindel. Yeah. Grim, yeah, Grim. I'm here. Hello. I see really? drop by. Nice to talk to you. Yeah. Um, I got some questions, at least two of them. All right. All righty. So my first question is, is that I've been experiencing this weird energy that came in. Yeah. And it's, it's very weird. And yeah. I get this sensation like of manipulative energies to the oh. point that I said like, enough's enough and ask like the Zetas for help on that to help reprogram my uh, energies to help with my subconscious Peter, where are you at? I'm from the United States now what part just to give me a state Texas all right I'm coming there to see what kind of energy that is because if it's a very weird manipulative energy, that's not good. We're gonna take care of that. I can take care of that. What is your next question? Okay, my next question is is that I've let's see. Yeah. Well, I would like to know about my higher self or my guides if they have any questions for me today. Oh, if your guides have any questions for you. That was an excellent question. Uh, I see. Uh, your guides do have a question for you. And they say, uh, when you encounter this other energy, you can take care of it. But hold on. Ah, mm, all right. They want to know if you are feeling trapped. Yes, I do have that sense of being trapped. Yes, and they want to help you with that. And so, uh, have you talked to them? Can you hear them? I can feel their energy. Just they like are trying right to there. help you out of the trap because... They feel that you feel trapped and they want to help you with that. They think that you are, uh, you need, that there's some fear oriented stuff going on there and that you need to drop your fear because you're, you're going to have to move forward in a very strong way at some point. And it's going to have to happen eventually. But they're saying they're trying to get you over a couple of fear points that you're working on. Does that make any sense? That makes a lot of sense. Good, because they said, when you get through this, when you get through those couple of fear points, you're gonna feel a lot more like yourself, a lot less trapped, and you're gonna be, be going, uh, I'm more myself. I'm more of who I should be. I'm more, uh, I, I can move forward a little better. And then you're going to find some really incredible things uh, and uh, some incredible people too. Inter interesting. That's what I'm being told. Yeah. And it also has that effect on channeling from my, from that energies. Absolutely. Absolutely. And do not be afraid to channel. Do not be afraid to bring that in. I don't think you're afraid to channel that much. No, not really. But there is some hesitation. You want to make sure that they're all positive. You want to make sure that they're, they're all in a good frame. So that's fine. But don't be afraid. Once you feel that it's all positive, it let it go. If you feel anything negative coming, just stop. That's all you have to do. Well, thank you so much for this. You're part. welcome. And I see, I see a good future for you, but you need to get through these fear things. Yeah. And you have to be yourself so that truth 
you see, once you're really yourself and you're true to yourself, truth is uh, flows much easier. Truth flows through truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, truth it is flows good. like a wave. Yep, and if there's these negative things blocking it, it can't flow like it should. So let let yourself be who you are. Do not do not pretend. Do not try to fit that square into a round hole. So, or a whole round hole into a square. It does, whatever it is. But anyway, um, it is something that they're saying to you that uh, it's time to look at those fears in a way that you can alleviate them. You are strong. You're actually a very strong person, much stronger than you think you are. You've been through a lot, and you've done some really interesting and and uh, powerful things in in some ways. So I see that. So yes, keep going. Are you all right, Pete? I think so. He's, He's good. <laughs> all right. All right. All righty. So, there he is. Did you say something, Pete? Yeah, it was just that uh, probably somebody got muted me in the chat. I was ah. going to say thank you very much for the help. You're welcome. Take and care. Come, dude. come visit it. Yeah, come visit anytime, uh, either in my area or in my place. Yeah, Texas, eh? Yeah, big place. All right. All right. What is going on there? Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, I love you, Grendel. Everybody loves you. We're super happy you came by today. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks. Here. Thanks. I'm super happy also. Are you, uh, did you say something? Much love. Thank Much you. love. Uh, I guess you're getting rid of me. All right. Um, I'll bring someone else through. You don't have much time left, so it'll have to be someone with a real quick message. Right? Yeah. Make it brief exactly. Exactly. That is the point. Yeah, make it, they're going to have to make it fast. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Yeah. All right. Talk to you later. Much love and, you know, all that mushy stuff. And um, be well. You as all right. Well. Take care, kitties. Bye. Bye, Bye Grindel. I am. Uh, yeah. Much love. I am. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, well, uh, you didn't call me, but I, I thought I should show up at least for a moment. My name is Ish. Hello. Hello, Ish. Hi, Ish. And actually, Shell wanted to come, but he Hi, has Ish. other obligations at the moment. So he sort of sent me, uh, Shell sort of called me and said, can you go in my place? Um, awesome. but, uh, right now the, the big message all around your planet is the energies and all the different things that you're dealing with. And some of you are dealing with it superbly and able to get through it and able to just be yourselves. Uh, I think those of you that have, that are closest to fourth dimensional portals on the planet have been doing much better. Those of you that are not close to fourth dimensional portals have suffered a little bit more. Remember, this is only temporary. And it will uh, pass. So, 
try to keep your eye on the prize in the sense that this the future positivity is right there right in front of you even though you feel very pushed down right at the moment although the energies are really uh, very tiring exhausting depressing uh, remember this give thanks for all things all the time and it will be less I promise you you may not think so but there are times when some people just do not feel like saying thank you I will feel better but if you do that it it happens it comes about in a most miraculous way eventually so uh, that's all I can say to you is that you must keep a positive outlook things will get better the elementals I see that Wendy is here the elementals are also at work at helping humanity try to feel better in many ways even though they are still working on many of the things of earth and trying to get their jobs done taking away pollution and things of that nature helping with uh, evolution of the trees and plants because it's moving so quickly ahead they're they're having a hard time catching up uh, and there are some tree species that are passing from the earth because they cannot keep up with the the changes in the atmosphere and the pollution levels so because they are in the atmosphere more than some other other things like bushes and flowers and things and insects but uh, they are being affected and so the elementals are here to help humans as well call on them if you need to to just have the, they they do have a certain energy that will help you lift your spirits because they are happy creatures and they are made for the earth and they are made to be joyful they are not made to be uh well they do get angry but only when people misuse them or the planet and it's a, a righteous indignation i should say but they do their best to keep very positive and they do their best to move forward with all things so Thank you. what is it ish we have a question from michelle mullet and she wants to know um she said she's getting interference on her end again and she was told by elijah i guess in one of the hangouts um, or webinars that she would be getting the gift of galactic language and she would like to know if it has been downloaded yet one moment please galactic languages have probably been downloaded to most of you by now and yes if it's there oh yes it is there it's just not open yet it comes when it's supposed to there are certain times when you just cannot have the language open yet you're just not the atmosphere isn't right for it the situations around you aren't right for it or something is not um conducive to it opening there are triggers and what i mean by triggers is there certain activities or words or thought processes that will open these particular um downloads and start them to work now until one of those triggers comes until one of those things happens that is a trigger for your download it will not come out so just be patient perhaps you need to learn more patience and it, it won't come out until you say all right i will wait and then and then it might come then but people have seen so many different triggers for their downloads but it's set up individually for you they know what you need to do for it to open and it will open at at the at the right time no worries no fears <laughs> thank you ish um temple beautiful yes. has a question Simple, beautiful. Yes. <laughs> I don't think we've spoken before. 
Um, I have two questions. Um, the first one is, lately I've been dealing with um, great missing of my twin. So, so we've been absent, like we haven't physically seen each other for seven or eight years now. And he yeah. was the one that came in to help keep me here, to help me get on the path with my mission. So I, I, is there, I feel like we're on different, uh, we're on different dimensional frequencies. So that's why we're having a hard time connecting, but I'm not sure if you can give me any information that okay. I can yes, help I can. connect uh, us. You're, you might find this a little difficult to believe, but he was sent to a different timeline for a different purpose. When he returns to this timeline that you are on, you will reconnect. Actually, that it, it is all right that he is gone for now, and you he is sending energy back through the timeline. It's not as strong as when he strong, but you will reconnect, and he will be back soon. Okay, that that helps so much because I um, I just learned about our timeline jumping, so this makes complete sense to me. Um, I don't know if that came through. I'm having problems on my end. Yes, yeah, so I didn't hear what you said. But okay, I just said that I I just recently learned about the timeline jumping that we do, so it makes yes. perfect sense, and that makes me feel better. Actually. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, the second question, and I feel like there is a message for me, so <laughs> I, if you could help, that would be great. Thank you. A message from him? Oh, I don't know, just because my throat chakra is painful right now, uh, so I think okay, there's something this, going on. And here, I see what that is. That means that your throat chakra is uh, stimulated because, uh, and, it, and you're feeling something Sometimes it's pain and sometimes it's just energy and vibrations and things. But there is something that needs to be said that has not been said yet by you. And there's someone you do not know what that is. It will come to you. But the other message for you is this. There are energies around you that are, that are helping you to maintain your... Um, your stability, your wholeness, your, your future movement, because this other energy has sent it to you so that you will not falter. And you, at this point, you have not faltered. Faltered a little, but you have not. And you are being kept and uh, stabilized. Okay. All right. Thank you. I that was a lot of choppiness. I don't know. We're having a lot of <laughs> a lot of energy coming through. I think I guess. that you're having some problems with your volumes and things. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can watch it back. It'll. He was clear through the. Okay. Thank right. you. Did you Did you hear it? Uh, oh. I guess. I, uh, no, I did not. I'll have to rewatch it or something. Hopefully, it'll I come see. Through. Did it go through on the recording? Well, you know what? Just do it. Say it again. Because <laughs> you did this start to freeze, so. Oh, interesting. We need stronger the connections. The energies, the energies are very strong that are coming from the sun. So uh, it is causing interactions and interruptions. But the, what I said was this, that <laughs> there is energies that have been sent to you that are stabilizing you and are keeping you stable and whole, and you will not falter. Did you get that message that time? I did, thank you very much. Yes, and it, this is being sent by that other entity, that other a part of you, <coughs> and they are concerned, but they know that you are strong, and they know that you are resolute, and that you will not falter. So the, the emotional release that I had last night, did that have something to do with it then? Yes, absolutely. Okay, all right, thank you so much. That actually was very helpful to you. You released out some things that were holding you back a little bit, and now they're moving forward. Hello? Oh, oh right, very good. <laughs> thank you. Good. Thank you. Ish. There's a question in the room. Okay. Come, 
comes here. Yes. Yes. We talked about galactic languages. I speak them. Yes. When will I be able to interpret what they're saying or speak back to them? Once again, that comes in the time when they're supposed to arrive. Okay. And right now, you are learning, you are still learning the galactic languages. And there are several that you have within you. So, uh, but the first one that you will start to interpret will be the insectoid. And that will start to come to you. In fact, a few words have come to you already, I'm sure. So, uh, but you will start to get it because the insectoid is the, uh, the, uh, the species that need more of, of a voice here on your planet and they do want to speak. You. You're welcome. Thank you, Ish. Um, actually, I feel like you have a message for me. That I have a message for you. Because I'm on this exciting journey right now, you know. Yes, you are. <laughs> you haven't even really begun it yet. You have in the I know. preparing. But I'm anticipating. You're preparing with... for this journey. You have nowhere, uh, no way to know where to go yet. But you have some ideas. And it will formulate and it will become what it's it's supposed to be at the right moment and that seems to be all about what i have to say timing 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 is everything right now just uh, uh -huh. let and trust that everything will be all right because it will you will have a wonderful yeah. journey it will be interesting and informative and there might be a few little bumps and hiccups, but it's not going to be anything that, uh, for concern. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Um, I think, actually, Time is up. Max, time is up. <laughs> I think the time is up. I am really happy to see you, by the way. I love you. You know that. I love you as well. I, I cause problems with some people because I... I have a method that doesn't always work with everyone, but I am, um, I love you all and I wish you all the best. We love you too. Love you, Ish. thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you and have a I wonderful you. day, all of you. Thank you as well. You too, thanks. Namaste. Hello. Welcome back. Hello. Did you hey, have a Jenna. super fun party time? <laughs> what do you mean, Grindel? Grindel? All the people. We had time. four. Four. It super was a super fun. fun party time for us. A super fun party time for, for uh, Grindel, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Woo! That was good. Do we have any closing prayers? Anybody want I to would, do any uh, closing prayers? I don't know if anybody else Anybody out there? Barbara will do in here if you if nobody else out there. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, I'm gonna. Wendy, I'll do I was one. just gonna say Wendy will. I know Wendy will. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Okay. Barbara, you want to go first? Who does want to go first? Barbara, I go first. All right. And then who? Uh, Wendy, and then who? Can I do it? Oh. Uh, there was somebody else online, too. Heat. Peter. Okay, very good. What about Michelle? Michelle, did you want to do one? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You are seeing things now on your world that you no one has ever seen before in any time of existence. Be in awe of all these things and in awe of your growth and your development, for you are growing and developing in ways never seen before as well. 
rise up, know that your abilities will be useful and are true to your nature as a great being in this time. All right, who's next? Wendy, Wendy would you like to go next? Wendy. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for all the beautiful entities you bring to us and all the wonderful messages for humanity. Thank you. Our destinies move forward, but only because you've put yourself in the place of trust, only because you are moving forward in love and spirit. Let go and let it be that you are a creator of great and lasting love and community. Let your heart blend in with the hearts of many so that the puzzle can be completed and so that the future can be seen as a whole within your own hearts as well as the hearts of many. Community is important at this time and peace and harmony of utmost importance as well. Much love and guidance given to all. Please follow. Please relent and give your fears away. For you are masters of your own destiny with God's help. Thank you, Jim. Whoa. Thank you. Wow. Will? That was, that was awesome. <laughs> Is it who's next, Michelle or Will? I am no. you're telling me me. I didn't know he was ah. going. Okay. Which I asa ye to ko hua na hashishi to ka au chia na saka hu chicha na ya ta ai hata ya ta o to ta tisa na na u chicha chishi ya ta ikaya ko shina ha wa ta ya Shishaya taka tichi tiko tiko tihi tika tiki ashashawa Isana na hua kaha shishaya tata haya taha Ika na ha sasa hua shishisho ukuhua chichihia Nihi sininiya taka ya chichikuwa ya tata liya Kara huso kochi anana hua tariyata As time moves forwards and more evidences of your great hybridization are revealed you will understand the greatness of your species and the greatness of what you have to offer and the greatness of the healing that will come about because of who you are allow yourself to learn about your past and your present and your future because you move into a great age of mystery and of enigmas but you will figure it out because you know that you are part of the prophecies that have been delivered to the universe Ooh. Uh, thank you Peter is next thank you no more, yeah. I see, oh, boy, yeah. Yeah, 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 I am glad to report that you do not share all the values of your society and that as a group here, you are moving forward in a more 
positive and uplifted way, more enlightened and more encouraged by positivity than those that are around you. Remember, to stay strong in your positivity and do not let them put your light out, but let your light be stronger than the darkness around you. Remember that when your light shines, it sends the darkness into shadows and illuminates all the rest of the room. Thank you. I guess that leaves me. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Those that are lifted up will lift up others, and so it goes. A chain reaction across your planet but it will take time but lift yourself up and lift up others daily do not bring in negativity to your world as your world has plenty to go around but remember to disperse it as at all times that you can know that you are being helped by those outside your world and by god and those that you are in believing and in alliance with him know that you are children of god and that your fires will burn brightly as you move forward so that you will be seen by the entire universe at some point and let it be known that the hathors are with you and that their healing is deep That's it. All right. Everybody have a wonderful day. Wonderful time. Wonderful time. Lovely, lovely. Thanks, Jim. Love Thank you, Jim. Love, love you so much. Love you too. Love you. Would you love say you it? Too. Uh, I Talk to you tomorrow. Talk to you tomorrow. Talk to you tomorrow. Who's? Yeah, who's at the reunion. Who's oh, yeah. The workshop the reunion. reunion. At 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we didn't announce that. If you were at the first workshop, we're having a reunion. A reunion of the first workshop tomorrow. Everybody can join, I think. I'm not sure. Hey. All right, everybody. We, we will see you again next Saturday at 11 Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for joining us. All right, much love. Much love. Much love. Bye-bye. Okay.